On the course with also pushing up hot to go and Oxford blew out wider King of Wall Street is starting to drive through between horses they charge out of the straight King of Thunders holding its place on the rail for now hot to go is going to cross and lead Oxford blue Keenlands three wide improving King of Thunder behind them with King of Wall Street and then came Gold Rush Guru who's three wide and posted Saint Emilion on the outside of Peru at the 1900 meters a length and a half to scary red aces and then came China Sea Three further back in the field then is one off the fence there, El Costello, the favourite, but it's well back in the field from politely done autumn heat, Tenbury Wells, and at the tail is West Indies, heading towards the 1,600 metres, hot to go, led the derby by a length and three quarters. Oxford Blue is second, Keeneland is third on the rails, and they're a length and a half in front. They were followed by Gold Rush Guru, who settled in a beautiful position, fourth one off the fence as they reach the 1,400. King of Thunder, fifth the rails, a length King of Wall Street, a length and a half, Peru, St. Emilion, then China Sea and Red Aces, who would spot the speed about 10. Two for the back is scary, politely done. Then El Costello, Autumn Heat is next. West Indies as well, back in the field, preceded by Tenbury Wells as they run past Chiquita Lodge with about 1,100 metres to go. Hot to go, the leader, by a length and a half to Oxford Blue. A length away is Keeneland third, and then came Gold Rush Guru. A length away in the field, King of Thunder, King of Wall Street Street, it's outside. Two further back, Peru, and the speed has been even at the 850, and they get away as they come towards the home corner. Next in the field, Red Aces, who's just closing that gap a little, about eight lengths off the lead now. Well back in the field, then is China Sea, and then towards the back of the field, out very deep, El Costello with Autumn Heat trying to get involved. Politely done, shuffle back to third last, with also West Indies and Tenbury Wells. Into the running at the 500 metres, and Gold Rush Guru under a hole goes up to hop to go then came king of wall street who's running on fairly well red aces is coming through still four off the lead gold rush guru went for home two lengths king of wall street followed by scary right down the center of the track gold rush guru at the 150 scary is staying on then china sea gold rush guru for south australia with 100 to go is pulling out it's the stronger it's going well and gold rush guru won the derby scary second a photo third between king Street and China Sea and then El Costello next in the field Red Aces and King of Thunder hot to go was next followed then in the field by Saint Emilion well back in the field Keeneland with also politely done with Tenbury Wells West Indies Peru Autumn Heat and one more last was Oxford Blue Well, Jamie Carr's remarkable day just takes another amazing twist riding home on Gold Rush Guru for what ends up being an emphatic win in the feature today, the Penfolds Victoria Derby. Uh, what a ride, Michelle. Unbelievable, James. It was one in the first half. She just put him into the 1-1 position, switched him off as what Jamie is best known to do and just absolutely gave him the most peach of a ride you could see for a derby. How'd that play out for you, Grace? Well, I think Michelle has hit the nail on the head. I mean, she got him in the 1-1. One, one. We were talking during the race, weren't we, that James McDonald to the inside aboard the horse that Gator and I were keen on, um, King of Thunder. He was just overworking too much through the early stages. And over 2,500 metres, to be able to conserve energy and be in a rhythm, it's just so important. And ultimately, that's what Jamie Carr got the best out of her mouth. Yeah, so I just cruised into the race. I mean, he hit the lead under a stranglehold. You knew there'd be something left under the bonnet there was. He pushed the button and he was strong enough all the way to the line. It's a perfect ride, but still the horse is yeah. very strong uh, all the way to the line, as I say. It ran the 2,500 right out. Jamie Carr refuses to be beaten by a nose, a bloody nose, that is, in the last race and comes out backs up like that. That's got to take some metal, Michelle. Absolutely. Like, she got knocked around really badly. It's twice hitting the nose before the start. Obviously, didn't get to ride in that race, but bounces back two rides later and absolutely gives it a gun ride. Amazing. And beats some quality opposition too, Grace. Oh.